Hi there, my name is Toby, and on this channel I'm sharing my own method of Qigong training, and I call this body efficiency training. This is my own approach. It's based on the natural body, trying to find a natural spine, natural hips and shoulders. And this exercise we're going to do today is really exercise number five in my basic exercise series called uh, the Great Circle. But here I'm doing it with a little bit of different emphasis and I'm calling it Diving into the Sky. It's a really lovely universal yoga qigong exercise and it works the whole body, the whole blood flow and the whole qi flow. And all you're doing is stretching up into the air on the inhale with the arms go up, you rise up nice and straight, stretch up, look up and on the exhale the hands come down but you stay nice and straight and you've got a little jump a little frog-legged stance as you go up and down and if you think of this as diving when you dive into the water you've got to have a really nice strong body posture you've got to stretch out so that when you hit the water you go perfectly in and you and you glide into the water no splashing it's got to be a perfect line and this is what we want to gain here we're stretching up into the sky like we're diving really arching back you can see the line from my hands to my shoulders to my hips to my heels but I'm actually on the ball of the feet so I'm rising up on the ball of the feet locking out the legs squeezing the glutes pulling in the belly expanding the rib cage breathing into the back of the ribs as the hands come up and I look up and stretch up and then as I exhale the hands come down in front I bend the knees again but I'm still keeping a nice vertical spine a nice S curve in the spine so now even when my hands go down you can think of it like I'm jumping down into the water so again I've got to keep a nice straight spine as I jump down so I'm diving up into the sky really inhaling and feel the inhale rise up through the legs through the spine you squeeze the glutes pull in the belly open the ribs stretch up exhale sink down bend the knees a little bit but keep the belly pulled in I'm still keeping a nice control of the spine inhale you see diving upwards really feel the stretch through the legs through the spine right up to the hands look up shrug up you lift the shoulders up a little bit this will support your neck as well but feel it feel the flow through your body going way way up to the sky and where are you going in the sky you go towards the north star that you visualize or imagine the north star is above you and you're diving up towards the north star and that's because it's the center point in the sky the earth spins around the axis of the north star so when you connect to the north star you're stabilizing yourself in this center line and also when you inhale you can clench your pelvic floor squeeze your pelvic floor as you inhale and stretch up and relax the pelvic floor a little bit as you sink down but keep the belly pulled in and uh, this is a bit more advanced this will help to move the chi when you squeeze the pelvic floor and inhale and look up stretch up it draws your chi up to your head and when you exhale relax the pelvic floor it sinks the chi back down to your belly back down into the legs so this is more advanced but this is how you move the chi inside your body you're using the muscles the tension in your body and the internal muscles like the pelvic floor to control the movement of the chi and the movement of the blood you're squeezing the blood and the cerebrospinal fluid and the chi up to your head as you dive upwards and as you exhale you're letting the chi sink back down to the ground okay i hope you enjoyed this little video uh, do check out one of these other videos here i'll leave the link particularly to uh, basic exercise number five which is very very similar to this so i do suggest you check that out okay look forward to seeing you next time